guys how are you i hope you're fine and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new so actually this uh i was actually trying to do a women's day vlog uh the day uh, the day ended up to be so exciting so i couldn't share more with you i just had to put my phone down and enjoy the moment so this was actually the dress that i was uh, wearing on women's day and uh to be honest with you this was my first women's day celebration ever to attend if you know me i've been in south korea for six years so we never did all these things but here in kenya we are always having a things to do so and also if you know that kenya we are tea lovers we love tea so this was just the best tea ever so yeah okay welcome back to my channel and karibu asante sana so um, today is actually uh tuesday so i went to nev i went to where did i go i went to so come back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new so actually today is a uh, tuesday and um our fridge is empty it's actually empty our fridge is really really empty for the kids uh food we are left with uh actually we don't have much so we just want to eat more especially on fruits and on vegetables i'm, I'm sure we are left with this so i just wanted to add some some vegetables Lastly, i'll show you what i bought in quick match it's mostly for the kids for school because yeah, you know preparing lunch uh break for breakfast is it break for school for the kids it's a really really uh tiresome so what i actually bought i bought uh i think i bought this happy cow cheddar cheese i bought three of these this can last them this week and next week so i bought these ones in quick mass and I also bought two 200 grams of polony. Uh -huh. And then I also bought uh, these uh, meaty sausage, uh, beef sausages. I bought three of them, halal. It's a halal product. I bought three of them. And then I bought some yogurt for my kids. These are assorted. It includes uh, vanilla, peach, mango, strawberry, tropical mix, and berry cocktail. And I bought uh, this uh, flora margarine butter, and this is for making chapatis. Bought this flour, and also bought uh, this lettuce for their um, sandwiches. And I bought uh, these uh, buns for making their um, um, sandwiches. So I bought two, and I bought uh, this for hot dogs. And I bought this big, uh, quick, uh, choice white bread. It's actually big. It's actually 1,500 grams. That's 1,5 kgs. And uh, this box of milk, it has, uh, I think there are how many inside? 500 mils by 12, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, 500 mils by 12, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So this is what I actually bought in quick mat. So this will last, I think, um, today, uh, Wednesday up to weekend. We can reach there. And then to the fish, uh, vegetable market, we bought these carrots for 100 shillings. And then this cabbage, it was going for 40 shillings. 40 shillings which is 80 shillings and then this big watermelon for 500 shillings we also bought these uh pineapples two pineapples one was going for 60 shillings these ones one was going for two uh, for 60 shillings this was also 60 shillings and we bought one big pineapple for a um, 130 shillings i hope it's fresh and then these are uh to me oh what i call it these onions Bought them onions are very expensive these are going for 200 shillings and we also bought corn 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 this was going for 120 shillings this is generally i've never tried this so i asked my helper to buy it for me i thought she was going to buy the one that i know so this one i don't know it's social cook for me so that i tested but i was missing it 
and then uh, this is uh, Kisuma Wiki Kale. Actually, I don't like Kenyan Kale. I don't know. It's actually different from our Kale. It has a different taste. At times it's hard. I don't know. Maybe this one will be fresh. I really don't know. But it's different from the Kale that I'm used to. Um, our Chomolium. And then uh, this is green pepper and some tomatoes. So this tomato was going for five shillings, so we bought for a hundred shillings. And then uh, these green peppers were going for ten shillings, so we bought for hundred shillings. So that is it uh, on my grocery haul for this week, guys. So yeah, that is it actually for my haul. So to be honest with you guys, um, I think I buy food for my kids uh, for school, especially every after, every one week, especially for fruits because um, we need fresh fruits. So I make sure that I buy those every after a week. Yeah, uh, mostly they like uh, oranges and uh, watermelons, bananas. That's what they like. My kids don't like uh, things like purple. That's what I've noticed. Anything that is yellow, they don't like. I don't know why. They don't even like uh, pumpkin or butternut. So, yeah, that, that, that's only, I think I'm the only one. Even my husband doesn't like yellow things. I don't know what's up with their blood. <laughs> If they clutch wires, they just don't like it. So yeah, this is actually another day. I think it was night time. I was just arranging um the the living room where we usually sit. And to be honest with you, at times I really do regret uh like um having this color of the couch cream. I think uh quite willingly as time goes on, maybe I'll change it to to gray. Because here yeah, at times it gives me uh, headaches. But actually yesterday as I'm actually editing this video. Yesterday we did wash the couch with my helper. And to be honest with you. I think if we actually do this every now and then. It should be okay. The thing is with the cream couch. Whenever you see a stain. You have to make sure that you remove it. Remove the stain. And you're good to go. If you just leave the stains. And it will they will keep on you know accumulating in the car to look dirty easily but yesterday actually yesterday the 25th or 26th i don't know what's the day today i'm forgetting we actually cleaned the couch and it's it looks so amazing it looks so good like if i don't have uh, money for those guys to come and wash it i think we can actually do it at home but maybe with time i'll change the color to to gray i don't know we'll see how it goes so yeah that is actually motherhood uh with me here in kenya guys i um yeah uh what can i say what can i share with you guys i really wish i can actually share with you some of the things but some of the things i just try to be you know to just let it be and um just leave yeah the other thing is guys so for those who have actually raised teenagers i'm finding really hard especially with my son my son is a good son um but at times i feel like maybe i don't know i don't know i don't know maybe the pressure of him being a teenager i'm i actually don't see his seriousness i feel like he's not serious but when we go to school they tell him, no your son is okay but at home i don't see he's like i don't <laughs> i actually maybe i am um, expecting more from him or what i don't know i really don't know if you are raising a teenager because it's my first time having a teenager uh so it I, I feel like maybe i'm too much on him or what but i try i, I think i'm trying and in terms of like no mommy it's okay you don't need to worry i'm doing okay everything is okay so i really don't know i really don't know <laughs> Just share some uh, motherhood tips uh, with me there on raising our teenagers. At times, I usually go, you know, you can't always rely online. Uh, so at times, you just want people, someone you have, have had an experience with a teenage boys, how to go about it. Yeah. Yeah, so actually, I also wanted to do, what, what did I want? I wanted to do some uh, roles for my kids. So I had already... Um, planned and prepared my door for almost uh, i think for 30 minutes luckily it rose it rose fast uh so 
now that's what i was actually doing they were not that perfect but my kids really really loved them so it doesn't matter whatever it is that you do if it's not perfect the thing is are doing it okay guys the thing is actually doing it to my surprise my kids they really really loved at this actually my young sister in korea is the one who used to do this for for them because she loves baking i don't like baking at all at all at all so my youngster is the one who used to do this so my kids are like mommy can you actually do what mamaru used to do for us in korea i was like okay let me try to do it so yeah it's about doing okay <laughs> not about perfection <laughs> The sausage rolls were baking in the oven i went ahead and just tidied up the things that i've been using and to make sure that the kitchen is looking okay in the morning because at times when it looks uh messy i know because at times i really do leave my setting my kitchen messy at times then in the morning is always a stress for me there's nothing so boring in Tarsam to start a day with a, a, a tidy kitchen, I don't want to lie. But yes, I'm also guilty of that. At times, I really do make it, leave my kitchen messy. When I feel so tired and exhausted, I always tell you guys, I can't force myself or force my body. If my body says, Brenda, it's enough for today, I just listen to my body and I go to sleep. Or so I just sit down and rest. But I know that the next following day, I'm the one who is the first person to use the kitchen or to enter the kitchen around 6 a.m. And I have to make sure that um, everything is also in order. So at times it's just a mess because my helper is not a stay-in helper. She goes, she comes around 8 and goes around 5. So from 5 o'clock up to 5 p.m. up to the next following day around 6 a.m., it's me and my family so yeah you know at times it becomes so overwhelming but i'm used to it i've been in korea for six years and it has always been me and my family no help or no what so yeah i just you know live and do what we can what we can't do it for another day yeah so it is what it is guys let's not force our bodies or even your mind or your brains these days guys you just do what you can what you can't just can't you know don't force yourself especially when it comes to your physical body and all the time if it's something that you can do later then just relax and do it later okay that's my two cents on that one and also, I haven't bought some mutants like the kitchen gloves for, you know, holding hot pots and all. <laughs> I know some of you will come for me, but I haven't bought. It's like, um, I don't know, but I haven't bought. I still have a long way to go since it's a new house. So there are some things that when I want to do, I'm like, oh, by the way, I don't have this, like uh, this. Like, oh my God, I actually need those mutants. 
those are picking gloves like they, they they help a lot uh but it's something that i don't put into mind or into my uh, budgets like i need to buy this but now i think i really need them because maybe i'll be doing a lot of baking and all trying new things uh, for my kids you know just to rip them the food that my family eats like i when i'm seeing some people cooking to be honest with you i like watching gugu and um and Amina, the food and they cook those ladies, and also a cutlery made love. I mean, I think I um I think I said this before. These ladies they cook, they really inspire me. But uh for me these days, so this was just another day. I actually uh. Like you can drive, Kiev. I don't know so how they call it, two, but I think you know if you know it, you know it. I actually did it for my kids for the first time, and, and they the really, really loved it so, so much. They really loved it. Um, I think I'll do it again. At this time, I'll try to, I don't know, to up my game that my kids at so this is actually yeah what we usually do i like to sell things so i like to go around and see things i'll go to easily go anywhere with for towel things. so this is actually one of the days um yeah i want to see what people are buying so that i can buy and resell this one this one i give you for 900 and you have the ponchos how much are the ponchos two five that's the point of the good, something that you can just give, you know. Mm -hmm. All right, Mama. Thank no, you. We will come mm -hmm. and promote you. Guys, who doesn't love sugar again? I love sugar again. Always in Kenya, less work, more eating of sugar again. Subscribe to this channel. See.